Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome to the third tournament battle. We're going to be fighting France versus Germany. France, quadruple turrets, as the French are <laughs> kind of supposed to have. The Germans, long-range barrels. Really accurate ship. Is it going to be enough to defeat the French? Let's find out. The fight begins. Reine Blanche. We have Le Poisson Magnifique and the Gascon. These are the Le Poisson Magnifique class, designed by Le Flatfish. The Germans, represented by the Rheingold class, as designed by Bali 8870. Dual barrels, 14.2 inch, not the biggest, but really bloody accurate. And the French are about to find out. Now the French have 16 inch guns, and they reload in a minute and a bit, 65 seconds. With this range, about, yeah, about 20 kilometers. We're looking at a very substantial chance to deck pen and potentially knock out a superstructure with HE. Both ships, the French and the Germans, appear to be pretty accurate at this range. Because both the French and the Germans have those... Well, look at that fire. There's a lot coming in on the Poisson. Ooh, yeah, we got our first hit. Not even two minutes, and we got the first hit on Le Poisson. That's bad news for the French. Now, if the French close in, they might be able to get a shot off with the torpedo launch. Actually, no, they're in range. they got 23 kilometers. Um, at this range, though, I personally wouldn't launch a torpedo, because the enemy is going to be maneuvering so much that the chance of actually hitting is really low. The Germans are still going to try and close the distance. They're still going to try and jockey for position. And if they can get behind the French ships, that would aid them. Because that means these eight bow 16-inchers can't fire. Now the Germans, with their 14-inch guns, have less punch, but they punch more often. Their rate of fire is better. Not only do they have smaller guns, they also got fewer per turret, so they can reload faster. The French are going to have to rely upon these almost massed volleys of 16-inchers. And it does appear like it could be working. Holy shit, it's definitely working. They knocked out one of the main turrets on the German ship. That's the B turret out of commission. One gun less to worry about for the French. I wonder if the Germans can pen it. Barely. Barely. But they did damage it. They did damage Le Poisson. And it was even on a main turret... That's surprising, because those turrets have a lot of armor. I suspect it might have been a partial pen on the top of the gun. So the, the turret top. Turret roof. Because the rest of the turret is very well armored. The French are about to fire again. Gascon slightly behind. That's another serious volley. Where's the fire from the Rain Blanche? She's not firing. Curious. Germany, you're about to be in for a shock. Oh, that was not as bad as it could have been. That could have been far worse. Le Poisson, however, has taken some hits. And has taken flooding on top of that. Structural integrity down to 92%, buoyancy 97 The ship is a bit battered, but still very perfectly combat capable. Her damage instability, though, does mean that she's not going to be as accurate anymore as she used to be five minutes ago. And especially with the Germans landing a couple of hits, that is adding up. Her damage instability is now 50%. Doesn't mean she gets uh, no chance to hit. Absolutely not. But flooding and buoyancy losses or buoyancy changes also mean your guns might not be able to fire anymore. I'm not sure what Rain Blanche is doing. I think she has a momentary bug going on. Because the 16-inchers just refuse to fire. That is a critical loss of firepower for the French. Uh, much like the previous tournament, I'm just going to let it run. If this is what the game does, this is what the game does. And rerunning it might lead to a different result. It's definitely not a disaster for the French. Because... Even if they lose this, they still have an opportunity to come back later. But considering how much damage Le Poisson was taking... Wait, you're also not firing? You're also not firing? What the hell? 
Oh, there we go. Now the Frenchies are firing again. Le Poisson taking a serious amount of flooding now. She's down to 50% of her regular buoyancy. The Germans are taking some damage here. And we've closed the distance to about 12 kilometers. The French still not launching their torpedoes. At this point, I would be pretty comfortable launching those. Now it appears to be the 6-incher that refuses to fire. There we go. What is going on with this game? Why are some of the guns just not working? 20% chance to hit the enemy target. The ships have loaded armor-piercing shells and are still targeting the middle German ship. Now, at this range, which is 12.3, we have about 47 inches of armor pen if we hit the belt. Is that enough? No, actually, we're hitting the main deck. Interesting. And yeah, they're getting some damage in, but most of it's partial. They're not getting full pens. Damage-wise, the Germans and the French are really close. But if you look at how badly Le Poisson is doing, it doesn't really portray just how badly things have developed. I'm seeing another main gun destroyed, but that's just the same turret all over again. The Germans, I believe, don't carry torpedo launchers, but... No, otherwise I would have seen them by now. They don't carry torpedo launchers. At least the French 16s are firing again. Albeit with pretty awful accuracy at this point. No, sorry, they're building up. Ah, torpedo launch from the French. Torpedo launch from the French. Le Poisson is still fighting and launching torpedoes. So there's now a few torpedoes in the water. We got three here. We got a few there. This could make life on the Germans a little bit more difficult, but... It's... Oh, there we go. There goes, there goes one. I rather doubt it's going to cause any significant amounts of trouble for the German. Because... Oh, there goes another Torp. <laughs> Damn. These things are pretty... Pretty unreliable. The Germans are doing a lot of damage. Le Poisson is about to go down. Oh, she's getting hammered. Partial pen. Stern is completely underwater. Unable to bring her guns to bear. Yeah. She's just waiting to get finished off at this point. And the French are just... Oh, well, they're continuing to harass... No, they were harassing the middle German ship, but they're not anymore. Le Poisson... She's taking a lot of structural damage, but by some miracle not flooding. If she can serve as the punching bag for the Germans for just a while longer, that might give the Germans... Or that might give the French some time to damage the other German ships. This is the Baden. Grand Blanche firing at the only unidentified ship. The chance to pen the Germans is pretty good. It's 34%. Germans versus French? I don't think it's that good, but the bow and stern are vulnerable. And these guys? Well, they're firing high explosive shells. This means the French crew is going to be slowly but definitely dying. They have standard quarters, so they're going to feel the wrath of those crew losses sooner rather than later. Rheingold preparing another salvo with 77% chance. Rennes Blanche only has 2.5%. We both have regular crews, though. Both the French and the Germans. Scharnhorst on the stern there. Trailing the German formation. Le Poisson Magnifique is still alive. The Germans have changed their target to the Reine Blanche. Instead of focusing and finishing off Le Poisson, they continue to keep her alive. Or at least let her slowly die a little longer. As they focus their efforts now on Reine Blanche. Reine Blanche repaying the favor. But very badly angled Scharnhorst here. Oh, well, she does take some pen. But not nearly as much as I'd actually expected. We got 32% chance to actually pen... Sorry, to hit the target now. Scharnhorst taking a bunch of damage there. Crews are standard for Germany as well. Oh, there she goes. Le Poisson is down. 
one third of the French out of this fight. Now, the Germans have been maneuvering a whole lot, so those torpedoes are probably somewhere over there at this point. And really should not pose any credible threat to the French. The French are now focusing their fire on the Baden, the closest target. And as such, appear to be, I don't know, going for a strategy where everybody gets a little bit damaged. But considering that their accuracy is still 60%, it doesn't really seem to be yielding the French a whole lot. Rudder damaged, fire and flooding on the Reine Blanche. Thankfully for her, the Germans don't have torpedoes. Because flooding and a damaged rudder is a really bad ingredient for getting your ass handed to you by torpedoes. Salvo on Baden, but it misses. I think this is going to be pretty one-sided. In the sense that the Germans will not lose a ship. And the French are about to start taking some more flooding hits here on Reine Blanche. She is pretty well angled, though. The Germans firing with AP. Okay. Yep, she's flooding. She's going bow in on those shells, and the salvo from the Scharnhorst misses her almost entirely. But now she's trying to fall in behind the Gascon. And because she's doing that, she's broadside on. The German guns are almost loaded. This could be really bad news for her. Wide open to attack. And it barely damages her. The Scharnhorst misses her salvo. And Reine Blanche gets to fight on a little longer. But just look at the amount of damage that the Germans have taken. It's... It's negligible. Now, they do have a 19-inch armor belt. Plus 6.5, 4, and 7 on the stern. 8-inch superstructure. They're extremely tanky. The French have a 17.5-inch main armor belt. 8, 4, and 8 aft, and 3 superstructure. And you see that the main superstructure on the French ships is taking a lot of damage. Um... I'm not seeing as much damage to the superstructure on the German ships. The secondary tower is still intact. Rheingold hasn't taken any damage to the secondary tower. Oh, Gascon taking a bunch of flooding hits now. That's one, two, three, four, five floodings. Potentially more. She's coming about. And this is what I was worried about. She's continually to turn around. Meaning she cannot bring her, her bow turrets to bear. As she's rotating the ship too quickly. That's a lot of missed DPS. That's a lot of missed opportunities. And all the while she continues to take damage. Some minor. But some pretty serious. As this flooding does not seem to be under control. The Reine Blanche isn't doing much better. She can still fight. But only just. She's still able to bring her guns to bear, but like two or three floodings, and she's probably done for. She already has, well, 23% buoyancy left. That's it. Oh, we got a torpedo hit on the Germans. The Baden took a hit. Her anti-torp 2 mitigated the damage, and anti-flood 3 and reinforced bulkheads are working very hard to contain the flooding. It is amidships. She's lost an engine, and she's turning around. Seemingly trying to cover herself as she repairs. Rheingold with the damaged turret. That looks... That looks pretty awful. <laughs> that looks pretty awful. Uh, Scharnhorst, perfectly fine. Plenty of shells, plenty of health, plenty of accuracy, plenty of crew. Dan Blanche has taken 20% of her crew and is now wearing down her ability to control damage. But I think that's kind of the least of her worries right now. It's going to be structural integrity and buoyancy. And probably not even in that order. Because that's a whole bunch more flooding that the ship just took. She's still fighting. But I think we're looking at the last 10 minutes of life on this ship. If that. Salvo going out. Uh, decent damage. Splitting it out a bit between Baden and Rheingold. Oh, yeah, that's not good. That was a lot of flooding. She's trying to turn, but with this much list, this much flooding, it doesn't want to turn very well. 
Another torpedo hit on the bottom. That's the second torpedo that the bottom has taken. Yeah, you're done for. She's still fighting against the Rheingold. Getting some damage in, but it's just not enough. Now, is the AI playing around with the ship wrong? Should it be using HE? Perhaps. Perhaps that would have given them a different outcome. But... It's the AI's choice, if you will. And they picked AP. So there goes the second French ship. The Reine Blanche goes down. Gascon, now the focal point of the Russian... Sorry, the German attack. She's still throwing torpedoes. Probably again at Baden. She's going to be doing... Pretty much driving over her wounded sister ship. She's still doing damage against Scharnhorst, but... They spread out the damage so much that all these German ships are pretty much perfectly healthy. And there goes the Gascon. Sinking. Due to heavy flooding. So that's a 3-0 for the Germans. That was pretty brutal. Yes, one of their ships took a lot of damage. But none of them sunk. I did not exactly expect this outcome. I thought the Germans would at least be able to take out... Sorry, that the French would at least be able to take out one of the German ships. And so we're back to the result screen. Where we find that Germany has scored a point against the French. This means that right now UK and Germany are tied and both France and Italy have lost a match. Next battle coming up is going to be China versus Austria-Hungary. Both have interesting designs. Um, they're more average, less... Let's say less odd than some of the other ships we've seen in the B-pool with the Japanese and the Russian ships. Um, I'm interested to see how it's going to go down. Who's going to win this one? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. If you want to support my work, please hit the join button also down below. And beyond that, don't forget to subscribe because there's a lot more battles coming up, as you can see. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you soon for more battles.